<clears throat> so all those different things which we did yesterday and we will continue where we end. So we'll talk about uh, in this uh, session today uh, about variant bomb and then there is something called multiple bomb. Okay, so there is a concept called variant bomb and then there is a concept called <clears throat> multiple bomb. So how do we maintain our variant bomb? How do we maintain our multiple bomb? So we will talk about both of them. So our class of today will basically be focused around what is a, <clears throat> a variant bomb and what is the multiple bomb and how do we distinguish between a variant bomb and uh, invariant configuration. So we'll talk about uh, all this configuration and all the discussion today. <clears throat> so we have uh, additional bombs and um, in additional bomb, there is something called variant bomb. And then there is something called multiple bomb. So these two bombs are used in a specific business situations. So on what situations variant bomb is used and what situation multiple bomb are used, we'll discuss that. And we will also discuss that what is variant bomb and what is the multiple bomb. In that we can planning of the complex structure that can exist in several variations. Variation configuration should be set up. Okay, so that is what also uh, we can discuss and we can also do as a part of SAP. Okay, so that is what basically we did and uh, about these functions. Now, technical type. So here we are talking about three type of bombs. Okay, and uh, so in the bomb, the one bomb which we're talking about, so there is a something called single bomb, simple bomb. There is something called variant bomb. And then there is something called multiple bomb. Okay, so there is a <clears throat> technical type. So in the type of bomb. In the type of bomb, we have something called simple bomb. So we have done a simple bomb creation. Right? So we created a simple bomb where we have a header, we have a line item. At the line item, we have a different type of material. So we did header and we did that. Then we have a something called variant bomb. So we have another one called variant bomb. So the second one we have here called variant bomb. The variant bomb basically means that we create different variations. Okay. So what is the variant bomb and how it is different? So we'll talk about variant bomb. Keep making note. And then there is something called multiple bomb. Multiple bomb. So then we have here something called multiple. We have multiple, multiple. So today's discussion going to be around what is multiple bomb, what is a variant bomb, what is simple bomb, how we can create three of them as far as simple bomb is concerned that we have already created and uh, we will be discussing other bombs and other structures as well. Now there is something here called, if you look at it, so when we look at uh, <clears throat> simple bomb, the technical type, there is a field called technical type. Okay. So, so for example, when we go to the bomb, so we go to logistics, we go to uh, production, we go to master data, then we go to bill of material, we go to bill of material and the same transaction code which is CS01. So CS01 is to create, change, display. So if we go anywhere, so let's say for uh, display and we select any material, for example, right? so any other material which we have used and we use, let's say, around 1000, form uses one. Okay. 
Now, if you see here, there is a alternate two alternative, alternative one, alternative two. And then here we go to header. Now, if you go to header, so there's header button. So we look at it, there's header. So here for this material, there are two alternative bound. <clears throat> so there is a alternative one and there's alternative two. Now, we, how do we create alternative bond? We will see that. So if I click on, so we see, I want to see that in this material, this is pump. And in this pump, we have alternative bond one, alternative bond two. If I go to header here, and uh, if you go to header, and then we select, let us say, alternative one. And if you go to header, then here we have a technical time and technical type basically means what? In the technical type, we see three things. Blank, simple bomb, V, variant bomb, M, multiple bomb. So here, that is what we see. Simple bomb, technical type, blank. Variant bomb, technical type, B. Multiple bomb, technical type, M. So that is what we see here. Simple bomb, variant bomb, multiple bomb. This is the technical type. So in this example, this material, this bomb is actually have an alternative material. And because this is alternative material, that is why this is a, this is creating as a multiple, is called as a technical type M, which basically means this is a multiple bomb. That is what we have here. Simple bomb, variant bomb, multiple bomb. Now, what is the variant bomb? Now, let's take an example and try to understand with an example of a variant bomb. So, what is variant bomb? Now, we have a pump. So, let's take an example of a material. And uh, in that material, in that material, we have a variant uh, pump, it's an oil pump, there is a water pump, and there is a wastewater pump. So, so it's, a, it's a pump only, but then there are three variations of the pump. So pump which is used for the oil processing, pump which is used for water, and pump which is used for the wastewater. So pump which is being used in three different functions. Then if you see here, there is a variations. So there is a variant. So there is a oil pump, water pump, red color, and this uh, uh, waste water is a blue color. So when we are creating, a, so it has a casing, it is a flywheel, and uh, we have a shaft. Okay. And uh, so that basically means and uh, that is how it, this basically works now. So, that we, so they, this basically means the bomb structure is same. And uh, then basically we can see that, okay, if I'm going to use the oil pump, casing would be of GG. When I'm using a water pump, the casing would be of aluminum. When I'm using wastewater, my casing would be there, but that casing would be of the steel. So casing has a three different variations, depending upon what kind of pump we have. Okay. Then here in the shaft, So here, if I'm taking this oil pump, then my shaft is this. If I'm taking um, my um, pump wetter, then my shaft is different. So there are three different items. They're all same pump, but they have a different variation of the product, 
This is called variant bomb. So several similar products are manufactured and they differ in similar way, minor way, some differences. Okay. Now let's do this exercise. So we want to do an exercise that how can we create a bomb and how do we create a variant bomb? So exercise, exercise. create variant bomb. So how do we create variant bomb and we want to do an exercise. So for that, the first thing which I want to do, so I want to create a header item, pump, and I will call this pump as a water pump. And then I want to create um, header item and I call it item pump and this item is a oil pump. I am creating a two variation of the pump. So one pump is for the water purposes and another pump is for Okay, so this is the header item. So this is header item. Now I want to create the line item. I want to create a line item. In the line item, I want to create two components okay. and then I want to create a simple bomb C01 and then I want to create a variant bomb and that also you can create with the transaction code CS01. So CS01 is the transaction code which can be used for simple bomb and uh, also can be used in the variant. So a simple bomb, material bomb can be extended to become a variant bomb. So if you have a simple bomb, you can extend a simple bomb into a variant bomb. But, but you cannot convert a multiple bomb into a variant bomb. That is not possible. Okay. So simple bomb, you can convert into variant bomb. Simple bomb you can co convert into. So this is one of the important point. So simple bomb, simple bomb can be extended into variant. Simple bomb can be converted into variant bomb. While multiple bomb, multiple bomb is called also called alternative bomb, cannot be converted into variant bomb. That is not possible. Alternative bomb is also, uh, multiple bomb is also called alternative bomb. These are the terms which are synonym. I would like you guys to make a note of these concept. Type of bomb. Okay. Make a note of it.
I would like you guys to make a note of the sum of these terms. Now, let us say I want to create a header item, transaction code MM01. Right? So I log in. I go to transaction code MM01, like we have done before. And then here we can take a um, so this item. So this is T dash MS dash 10. This is an example of a, this is an example of a pump. T dash MS dash 10. T dash MS dash 10 is a standard SAP provided material master in the training system or idea system. So we can use this material master as a reference. We can create material without reference also. That also we have done. We can create a material with a reference also. That also we have done. But the purpose of creating this material with the reference is that, that a lot of data entry time is saved. So we don't need to enter this data over and over again. So that way the data entry time is saved. Okay. So T dash MS dash 10 enter and then uh, we can select different view sales um, basic data one sales of data one two uh, we don't need sales view anyways but we can keep it but mrp one two three four work is scheduling storage one accounting one we create a material then we are uh, creating this material for uh, plant one thousand digital location triple zero one sales organization one thousand distribution channel ten and uh, we are creating this material with this data. Now, this is an example of a pump. So let us say I'm creating a pump and I call it um, as a uh, water pump. So we can, I call it uh, as a water pump. So we can say it is a pump and this is a Pump. But this is a water supplying pump. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. So the whole data get caught. We are creating, this is the material, and we are creating a pump, and that pump is called water supplying pump. So this is the, we created a header material, and this is the water supply. We did that. Water supply pump. And then we have a, we create another uh, header. This is oil supplying pump. Okay. So we create that. TMS. Hit enter. Hit enter. We can select relevant to plant. Hit enter. Now this uh, we can create as a. So the last one was the water supplying. And this we can say oil supply. Oil. Two different enter. enter everything all the data which is being copied we just copy that as it is so that way data entry time is saved and then we save it so we created two pump so this is uh, second pump we created We created two header item. Now, after creating this header item, we want to create some line item. Okay. 
we want to create a two line item or three line item or four line item. So we created a line item. So for the line item, we select uh, some uh, reference component. So let us say we select this. This is a component and we are uh, using the same component. We hit enter, hit enter, hit enter. Now this is flywheel. Okay, so this is flywheel and we hit enter. So this is a, basically we are creating a third material and this material is flywheel. So we selected flywheel. So we created a material. So we're taking this example. So let's say we have a flywheel. So we created a component, this is called flywheel. Now I want to create another component also, because in one bomb, you can have a multiple items. So we create another component, so we create a flywheel. Now I take another example, so for example, the this and uh, now this is an example of a hollow shaft okay. so here we have a shaft now this shaft is where you have a different color you know black yellow uh, red blue because then you can have a different kind of a so this is a let us say shaft this is Stainless steel. Shaft only, but the shaft is of stainless steel. We hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. We set. We create evaluation class zero zero. Hit enter, and we set. So the we created the material. Now this material we created a hollow shaft, and this hollow shaft is basically is of a stainless steel. This is of a stainless steel. Now I want to create uh, another one, let us say third material, and I call it uh, hollow shaft. And that hollow shaft is of, I want to make it of aluminum. Because if I'm using a water pump, I will use, uh, you know, aluminum shaft in the pump. If I'm using it in oil, I will use a stainless steel. Because based upon what pump and usage of the pump, certain material could be different, which is configured variant for that particular scenario. Okay. That is what this basically means. So we have a header item, then we can have a line item. And then we have an aluminum, so it's a stainless steel. This is aluminum. So here uh, we go to 38 and then we go to, we hit enter. And then we create another material. And uh, okay, just a minute, we remove this material. We made a note of material. Yeah, we made it. So 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay. So number easy to remember what we're doing. 
So what is the derivative? So we then we create another material, third material. Now this is also well, so after last time we took a stainless steel, and I want to make this as a aluminium. Okay. This is of aluminium. So we get all uh, text classification. Then we select hit enter, hit enter, hit enter, hit enter, hit enter. It's easy, it should take a faster. So it copy other data and then we save it. And uh, we enter then change the validation class. So this is validation class. Uh, validation class is determined by the material type. So material got created. So we created another material. So now this is the material we created. Now let us say I want to create a simple bomb. Now simple bomb we have created before. Transaction code CA01. So we go back. So we create a simple bomb. And then simple bomb, we go back and we go to CA01. Okay. In the CA01, I take one of the material, so 35. So I take this material, 35. And then here, this is my material, 35. This is my pump plant. The pump uses is one, hit enter. Now what is happening here is that we have this material. This is a pump of a water supply in the plant 1000. And then I put my item category L. And then we enter the material flywheel. So this is the flywheel. 37. So we enter the flywheel and we enter the quantity. We need two flywheel. Okay. Then we enter another item. It's also a stock item. And let us say I need this hollow soft and we enter this material 38. So enter the 38. And then uh, shaft, we need one. So this is an example of, a, and then similarly, we can have as many material line item as possible. We have created the bomb in the past. You can have a different type of item as well. With that also, we have discussed a stock item, non-stock item, different item categories, so different type of item category we can choose as we want. And then we save it. So this is the other item, and then we save it. Now see that message here, creating bomb for material this 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 so we are able to create a bomb this is what a simple bomb for this material now let us say i have this material 36 and we say creating bomb so there is a create variant of you see this create variant of create variant of and we select 35 and then we hit enter system says that in this material I have these two item do I want to select both of them one of them and I said copy and we can put uh, hit enter so now what system does that in this variant, this is a, a pump, uh, oil supplying pump. In this plant, I have these two components. Now, if I want to change this one component here, so we have a 38 and I want to let us say change uh, 39. And then when I go to header, and see here, technical type is B. It says a variant bomb. And then we save it. So created the bomb for this item. So we created variant bomb for material. 
X. And then we verify the technical type equals to V. Because system knows that this bomb is the variant bomb. So we go back to variant bomb. So we go back, click on this. If you go to display or change mode. So this is the bomb we created. This is the variant bomb we created. Same transaction code CS01. For this material in this plant, in this bomb usage, hit enter. And then system tells me that this is my oil supplying pump. And if I'm using this in this plant, I have a, this item, this is a flywheel. I need two flywheel. And then I have this item, which is aluminum side. I need one material. So that is all we can. And then we can define uh, other parameters here. So one of the important parameter is that if you go to, um, let us say header, so this is header here. So if you go to header, then this is the header item, oil supplying pump. And then this is the bomb number, 3978 is the name of the bomb. Bomb usage is one, bomb usage is one. That basically means this bomb is being used in production. And the most important the technical group is variant bomb. And that is what we saw here, that when we created the variant bomb, so in case of variant bomb, technical type is V. Because technical type B suggests that this is a variant bomb. So this is why it's a variant. If I go to uh, 35, hit enter. Hit enter. So this is my 35. Go to header. Now this 35 is my water supply pump. Okay. So now this 35 is my water supply pump. And here also, because I have extended this into bomb uses, Therefore, this bomb technical type is also variant. So now, for this also, technical type, technical type equals to B. Because these two are the variants of the same type of material pump. So this also, again, bomb number is 3978. So there is a bomb number. So I would like you guys to make a note of it. So there is a bomb number. Bomb number is 3978. So this is a variant one. And this bomb is variant so now I have a two bomb, which is the variant of each other. So this is the variant two. And uh, if I go back, 36, hit enter, hit enter, and then we go to header. Now see the bomb number, 3978. Look at carefully. Bomb number is 3978. Now, why show the bomb number? So bomb number is 3978. So that basically means both variants bomb are in the database are identified with one bomb number only. Otherwise, I can create two different bombs, right? So you can create a bomb this, one this. So it become a two simple bombs. 
So it's possible. So you can create two bombs. But in this case, we are not creating two bombs. In the database, both of them have the same number. So if you see this, this is 7980. This is 793978. Uh, 3978. Both numbers are same because in the database both are saved as a same bomb as only. Okay, so that is why they are called variant bomb. They have a different line items. Header is also different. So in both cases, both item, both, both items both bombs as two different item remember this two different header items this is header item 35 three five nine 35. This header item 500036. So both are two different header item. Make a note of this. So this is how we do exercise for variant bomb. And that is the difference between the two. And that is what we have here. Variant. Now, after the variant bomb, and we have seen a variant bomb. So, and that's what is several product, but one internal bomb. So here we have several product. Internally, there is a one. You can do 99 variant. So there basically means there could be 99 different uh, pumps. And for each variant, material number is different. So header item was different. So each variant has a different bomb header. This is variant. And then we also saw the technical type is V. Usage is one because we are going to use this production bomb. Okay, so there's a variant bomb V, usage one. Okay. Now we are going to second scenario and that second scenario is multiple bomb, one product. Now this is a different scenario. This is called multiple bomb is also called alternative item. So here, look at this example. So we have a, this item, alternative one, alternative two, alternative three. Pigment 1, pigment 2, pigment 3. This is solvent, this is solvent. Now you can make it with a solvent, you can make it with a bottom. So one item can be produced with the two different items. So one material can be made of different combination of the product. So you can make one item 
with multiple product. So for example, I can use solvent also, you end up getting same product, or I can use water also, we get a same, same product. So that is an example, when one item can be maintained with the different components and we can have it. That is why it is also called alternative form. Because for one of the item, there could be alternative one, alternative two. So we can do alternative. A variant bomb cannot be converted to uh, multiple bomb. So if you have a variant bomb, you cannot convert that into multiple bomb. In case of multiple bomb, you can have plant usage one, alternative one, alternative two, alternative three. So for one of the component, you have a three different alternative. Let us do the successes. So we are going to do an exercise for alternative form, or it is also called multiple. Same terminology: alternative form or multiple form. In this case, I'm going to create header item. Header item. And that header item we call it paint. We are manufacturing paint. In manufacturing paint, I can have a raw material RM1, a chemical. And then you have RM2, in that you have a solvent 1. And then you can also have third RM in which you can have a solvent 2. You can have a two type of solvent. So solvent type one and solvent type two. So in order to make this particular paint, you have a choice that you want to use solvent type one or use solvent type two. Now you can always chemical you always need. But solvent, you have a choices. You have two type, type of solvents. Now let's create uh, this material. So we go back, go back. Now we create a material. So we select uh, some of the finished product. And then we hit enter. Hit enter. And then I call it uh, paint. Hit enter. Hit enter. We're creating this material by copying in a material. So it become easy data entry and then we have here okay this is the paint now i want to create another raw material 
right? So raw material one, raw material two, and then we save it. So now I want to create another material, and uh, I will call it as a chemical, whatever we call it, chemical. And then we select this. This is the chemical. Great. So we created. Now let us say I have a two solvent, solvent type one, solvent type two. So in order to make uh, paint, you need that solvent and the, there could be two different type of solvent, which are two different materials. So here, I create uh, another material and I call it uh, solvent type. Enter, hit enter. And then we select this material, we save it. We make a note of it. <clears throat> okay. So we created the third material. Now let's we create another fourth material. Okay. So solvent type two. So we create another fourth material. Then we select here solvent. Select this material, create it, and then we created a solvent type two. So we created two solvent. Now what I want to do, I want to create simple bond. Transaction code CS01. So we want to go to CS01. CS01 is a transaction code for creating any kind of bomb. And here I select my header item. This is the paint. So this is the paint. Here. When I'm creating a paint, so this is the paint. I need some item. So in the paint, we need this chemical. So this is the chemical. We need a chemical. And then we need two liter of chemical, whatever quantity. So this is a item and we need this quantity. Whatever that quantity is, we can define. So now we have a another item and let us say in this manufacturing this paint I can use solvent type 2. So this is the solvent type. I can take this solvent. And I need the one quantity of this solvent. So this is my paint. And for this paint, I created this a simple bomb. A simple bomb. If I go back and check this bomb, display this bomb. Hit enter. And if I go to header, technical type is blank. 
So technical attack blank basically means this is a simple bomb. Last one which we created was the variant bomb. Okay. And then we go back. So this is the one we created for this item. Let us say I put an alternative bomb two. And uh, and here I want to go to create and then uh, I select alternative and I copy. Alternative one is already there. So first alternative get created. I select two, copy, hit enter. And then system says copy from this material, this plant and alternative one. So I'm creating this material in this plant, bomb uses one, alternative two, and I'm copying the same material in this plant, bomb uses one, alternative one. I'm copying alternative one into alternative two. And we hit enter. And then we select here. And then we copy. So now what happens is, I have uh, this material in this plant. I have this chemical. This is solvent one. And now I want to replace it with the solvent number two. So here I select the material 43. So 43. So when I say 43, this is solvent type two. So that basically means same material has a two alternative. In alternative one, I have a solvent one. In alternative two, same material, I have another solvent. And after that, if I want to go display, now system tells me that for this material, paint, I have a two alternative. Alternative one, alternative two. Which one I want to check? So I said, okay, check alternative one. I select that and we double click. And then system tells me that for this material, for paint in this plant, alternative bomb number one, I have a one item chemical, two quantity. I have another material solvent, one quantity. If I go to header, now technical type is M. Technical type is M. Remember, we talked about technical type is M. Technical type is M. So now in this bomb, we display bomb. When we display bomb, we can go to let us say CA03 and then in this we see technical type goes to okay so we have a technical type here this is same material in this plant, bomb number 3979. See bomb number. Three nine seven nine. Now, if you go back, if I check the alternative two, this is alternative two. In alternative two, I have this material. In alternative two, I have the same chemical, but solvent type is second. I have a, I'm using a different solvent in this paint. Same paint, but two different solvent. So I have a two variations, solvent one, solvent two. And if I go to header, and here technical type is 
and the bomb number is same. Now, bomb number same. That basically means internally both are same bomb number. So here there's a technical type M. Here technical type V. Here we see bomb number remain the same. So in this exercise today, we created alternative bomb, which is also called multiple bomb. We created a variant bomb and we also created simple bomb. So we have created all three different type of bombs. So will you stop here today? We continue next week. Thank you.